In this video, we'll look at how to solve a word problem where we're using angle of elevation and we're required to use sine law. So there's a surveyor who measures an angle of elevation of 21 degrees to the top of a cliff. She then moves 120 meters closer and measures an angle of elevation of 33 degrees. How far was she from her first position to the top of the cliff? Okay, let's draw a diagram. Start like this and assume the cliff is straight up and down at 90 degrees. That's a pretty good assumption. So she starts there and she measures an angle of elevation of 21 degrees. That means 21 degrees goes right here. Then it says she moves 120 meters closer. So she comes from here and goes to say here. And we know this distance from here to here is 120 meters. Now she measures the angle of elevation to the top again this time getting 33 degrees. Let's label this triangle so we can talk about different parts of it. Let's call this A, call this B, call this C, and we'll call that D. Because right now we don't have enough to solve. We're going to eventually use sine law, but first we need some more information. The first piece we need is the angle right here. We'll call that angle C. How do we get angle C? Well, we know it's 180 degrees all the way around here, so the angle C right in here is 180 minus 33 degrees, which is 147 degrees. So we can write that in our diagram now. This is 147 degrees. And we can tell the angle right here at angle A, because we know that angle A and these two have to add to 180. Or in other words, 180 take away the other two angles in the triangle have to equal 180 degrees. So 180 minus 21 minus 147 means the angle right in there is 12 degrees. We can write that in. Because now we have enough to set up sine law. What are we trying to find? Her first position distance to the top of the cliff. That is, how far is it from here to here? We'll call that x. And so now we can set up sine law. That is, we want to solve for this x, which is little baby c, that is, it's the side across from big angle c. So I'm going to use the sine law of little c over the sine of big c equals, and then what's the other pair we know, this 120 and 12, which is a and angle a. So this sine law will give us the answer. That is, baby c over the sine of big c equals baby a over the sine of angle a. All right, let's sub in. I'm looking for x, and I always like to put what I'm solving for in the top left. That's why I started with baby c. That is the side across from here, because that's what I'm looking for. Over the sine of 147 degrees equals side a, which is 120, over, and then the sine of the angle here, which is the sine of 12 degrees. How do I get x by itself? do the opposite of what's happening to it. What's happening to it is it's being divided by sine 147, so I'm going to times both sides by sine of 147. And when I do that, I get x equals 120 times the sine of 147 all over the sine of 12. And now, I'm going to solve using my calculator. I'll do it all at once. So let's do sine of 147 on top, make sure your calculator is in degrees, equals, times that by 20, Oops, sorry, times that by 120, and now divide that by the sine of 12 degrees, and we get x is approximately, let's round to three decimals, 314.348, and the units in this question are in meters, and then finally, we need a therefore statement, a conclusion. Therefore, how high was she in her first position to the top of the cliff? The distance was 314.348 meters. So what did we do here? We looked at her angles of elevation, and we learned how to draw a diagram, and then did some work with the angles so that we could set up sine law and solve.